Let's talk about how to find a weighted average. How do you find the weighted average of n data values, x1 up to xn, with corresponding weights w1 up to wn? The weighted average is just the sum of the data value times its corresponding weight. You do that for each data value and weight, and then you add those all up, divided by the sum of all of the weights. So let's do an example. Suppose the final exam in chemistry counts as much as two regular tests. Suppose a student scores 82, 78, and 74 on the three tests during the term. The student scores 93 on the final exam. What is the student's average in chemistry for the term? And the, an easy way to do a weighted average calculation is to use a table. In the first column, you want to put the data values, x. In the second column, you want to put the corresponding weight values. And in the third column, you want to find the product of the data value and its weight. So the test scores for this student were 82. These are our data values, 78, 74, and on the final exam, the student scored 93. What are the weights? The final exam counts as much as two regular tests. So if we give weights 1 to the regular tests, then the final exam is worth 2. Multiplying the data value in its corresponding weight, we have 82 times 1 is 82, 78, 74, and 186. To get the numerator of our weighted average, we need to add up these four numbers. When you add those four numbers, you get 420. The denominator of the weighted average is the sum of the weights. And in this problem, the sum of the weights is 5. So the weighted average will be 420 divided by 5, which is 84. So the student's average in chemistry for the term is 84, and it was calculated through a weighted average. What would the average have been if the final exam was weighted the same as the regular tests? In that case, we just have a regular sample mean equal to 82 plus 78 plus 74 plus 93 divided by 4, and the average would have been 81.75. So the straight average of those four test scores is 81.75. The weighted average when the final exam counted as the equivalent of two test scores was 84. So in this particular case, the weighting of the final exam helped the student and gave the student a higher average than would have been achieved if the regular tests and the final exam were weighted the same.